And then, um, then again, they had been looking for a while for for an aerial, and um, I hadn't heard about any auditions or anything. And then I, I happened to be taking my vacation in October, and the last <coughs> day of my vacation, they wanted to call me in. So they, it was like three days before, and they, they called and said that they wanted to see me for aerial. So the night before my audition, I got food poisoning and was in the hospital. From what, sushi? Um, no, it was from sushi. Thai food. What was the peanut sauce? No, it was, I had tofu that night, which you shouldn't, but there, there must have been something else. Oh my god, they put you in the hospital? They put me in the hospital, oh, so, so I'm like in there, and I'm like, uh, IV, I, and I was like, uh, and then I, and I was freaking out, I was like, I have to be Ariel, I have to be Ariel, and I, I went in, and I can't, I can't be like, hey guys, um, I, I'm... Did you bring your ID with you? Yeah, <laughs> it was for it was for sympathy actually. <laughs> it's actually empty, but just to show. Wait, so you I was totally fine. And, yeah, the, the next day was the audition, and um, but it was the whole day before that I was I was in the hospital, and I had never been to the hospital in New York before, and it's funny because they let in drunk people who are or people who are OD, and they're, but they, it's like a common thing, and the nurses are really funny about it, because they took me into a room, but then outside my door are like all these people who are like wasted and singing, and just like, I was like, God, I'm glad my sister's in here with me right now, and the nurse is coming in and explaining like he's, you know, it's a normal thing, and not all hospitals. Do the doors lock? I'm sure they do. It was fine. I it was made fine. it. <laughs> terrifying. Okay, so you so went anyways, in. So anyways, so that, that was me. Then I, then I go in and I do my auditions. That's not even... I mean, but then I never heard back from that initial audition. They're like, she seemed boozy. Yeah, they're like, she seems like she had an IV. Yeah, exactly. It's just a thing that I said. marks, she's a drug addict. Yeah, I think that was why. Um, but then I, then I never heard anything. And then all of a sudden in January, I'm getting all... She might still get good vibrations. It does take a long time. I'm getting good vibrations. It does take a long time to get good vibrations. Please continue. Yeah. So I'm all, I'm in Vegas. I really don't want to be in Vegas anymore. I love doing Phantom and I love doing that production, but it's hard living in Vegas. But what I took up was Bikram yoga while I was while I well, was. Well, hot house yoga, but you just sit outside, right? You didn't Basically, do the hot house. no. Why would I pick up Bikram in Vegas? That's crazy. Vegas makes you go crazy. Um, so I'm in a Bikram class and I'm feeling all good because I'm feeling a little down lately. Because I'm just like, okay, what's next? Because this isn't it. This is, I need, what's next? And I'm, I'm done with my Bikram class. Sometimes with Bikram, you, you think you're going to die. Because, have you done My friend's like, it's so great. I threw up. I'm like, wait. <laughs> 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 it's like 100 degree heat. Yeah, and humid. I mean, it's, it's ins but you do, sometimes you think, I'm not going to make it out of here. Because it's, why do we do, but then you, I think it's the rush of then you're like, oh, I lived. I survived. <laughs> I'm alive. And you feel good. I don't know, but anyway, so I'm feeling that state of like, I'm laying there after it's over, getting ready to leave, go back into the real world. I'm just like, I'm just giving all of this up. I'm feeling just, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm giving this up, whatever I've been feeling lately. And I come out to my car and I have a message from my agent saying, they want to see you in four days for... Ariel. Uh -huh. But that's going to cost me about, so I get home and I look for tickets. They're not going to fly you? No. It costs me $700. <laughs> there are Disney people here. Any excuse for not flying her in? <laughs> <laughs> Continue. <laughs> I have no excuses. Yeah. Go on. I still have the receipt. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I still have the receipt. Okay, done. Okay, great. What a chutzpah. And I say, listen, this is going to cost me $700, and I'm not interested in flying in if this isn't like really important. Mm -hmm. If they're really interested, and and just tell me. So she, so she, but she said, you know, this is it. So do it. So I do it, and then that audition was like four or five hours. Of what, Healy's? No, that didn't even come until like the last ten minutes, and I was so worried about the Healy part of it. Really? That because I, 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 my, my friend, she was my dresser. She became my friend. And she has the same size feet as I do, and she happened to have Heelys. She ten? I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> she has Heelys, but she did. So I, in Dream Phantom, I'm, I'm like. Before the show, I'm rolling up my carpet in, in my dressing room, and I'm Stick healing, and like, <laughs> hoping I don't crawl, oh and trying to figure out how to do it, and all this stuff. And then I, 
then to practice through the night, I would pull my car out of my garage because it's all cement and because it's the only other place I had to practice and I would wheel around in my garage <laughs> trying to figure out Singing how to do it. or just like healing? No, just healing. And that was only like 10 minutes of my whole so audition. So what was, what was most, what were they asking you to do? Part of your world, I had to sing like... All different keys? Yeah, we changed it because it's a higher key for me. <laughs> My key, now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still getting used to that. Um, but so, yeah, we, so we sang different keys, and then um, then I sang also Be On My Wildest Dreams. Any and direction? Like, any, like, make her more blah, blah, blah? Yeah. Um, well, with Part of the World, I remember that sh Francesca wanted me to be more um, <coughs> knowing that, just just sure that you're going to get there. Oh, and so it's like, not wistful to press, it's like right, determined. Not like, oh, oh well, it's like... Yeah, I got this. See, I want some. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you know all the terms. <laughs> I know a phrase. <laughs> um, so I, so yeah, then beyond my wildest dreams. And were the other girls there too? There was some. <laughs> I get you better. <laughs> Thanks. Um, and then they had a bunch of Prince Eric's too, because they had a cast Prince Eric. Yet, so I was reading with a bunch of different guys. And it was super. Mm -hmm. And um, and then, but then I would go and I would sit outside and I would wait. And then, then our choreographer came out and said, "Come dance with me for a second. So then, so I was always I would sit out for a little bit. But then they would take me someplace. And then they worked with me on part of your world at one point, and just all all kinds of things. Cause you know, part of me too was I was coming in doing Christine. So I'm all like, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and so I had to kind of. They were like, okay, we need you to sound younger now, and, and let's let's spout now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, we were doing that, and um, and that was it. And then I flew back the next day. And got a call? No, I had to wait like three days. And I was like, this is what you do? You have to wait? Because it's you been an hour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so where's my call? <laughs> Hey, it's Sarah again, Francesca. I'm just wondering. Hey. Got a message. Chesky, can I call you Chesky? Um, that's great. That's been changed. I'm sorry. Wait, so three days pass, and then who called your agent calls? My agent calls, and she says, and I'm at the dentist's office. Speak of dentist, says boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great. It's the only way to do it. Um, and and she she calls me, and she says, Ariel. Uh, I was like, ah. Did you in the like chair? No, and do you know what I did? You'll appreciate this. You like Yentl, right? <laughs> <laughs> What's the first song that I played in my car? There are moments you remember. Uh. <laughs> I'm trying to take what I need. You know the ears are just going, just like wind blowing. It's like, oh, it's good. And I, that song Watch me fly. Watch me fly. Did you choose that song for the moment, or happy to come on? No, I chose it because like that, I am a gay man. No, I love it. More people should be. So you're like, hey, my notice. Just like hey, in that night. No, I, I, I didn't know what to do because I knew that I would have to leave a month early. And um, and so I didn't tell anybody. I called I called um, my dresser, who is one of my good friends there. And and you know what? Honestly, I didn't believe it the, when that call. You know, I knew, and I was all excited. But then it set, and I was like, wait a minute. Maybe I got I I thought I got it wrong. And so I called like, her. Matt and Ariel. Yeah, <laughs> darling, we're we're double cast again, just like I'm I am here. And um. So I called my agent, I think I waited two days, and I called her again, and I said, will you run this by me one more time? Because <laughs> I, I truly, honestly, was like, I, I don't want to tell anybody. I don't even know if I had told my parents yet. I was, I did not believe it. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> uh... <laughs> so, how was it before then, until you finally began rehearsals? Um, that was January, and then we began in May. Guess what time is it? Is it half hour yet? <laughs> have a, it's almost seven. seven. Oh. Okay, I want to see where we go. Just quickly, give a part of the show away. A mermaid? Yeah. Um, d when I rescue my prince. Huh. Why did you give a part? Because it's the first time that I get to actually con well, connect. connect with somebody on stage, even though he's passed 
help. <laughs> but it's the first time that I I like that. Instead of all my other songs and my scenes oh, are just kind of out and in my head, and then it's the first time that I physically can be with him and, and just. He's cute. And he's, so cute. <laughs> he's an amazing dancer. I can't believe he doesn't get to dance at all. I mean, you know. Yeah, a little. But he, I 